Hey there guys and welcome to a get ready with me. I am going to be getting ready to film my boxy charm for you guys for the third time. Oh my god. I tried to film it twice yesterday and I don't know what my voice is doing right now, but it sounds weird. So <laughs> I tried to film my boxy charm twice yesterday. The first time it was entirely blurry. The second time I had lipstick on my teeth through the whole thing and I didn't know. So, we're gonna try this again. But first, I gotta put on a face. So, first gonna start by putting my hair back. For primers today, I'm going to be using a sample of The Professional by Benefit and my Rimmel Lasting Finish Primer, which I'm almost out of and need to buy more of because this stuff is amazing. So I'm going to take the professional just on the areas where obviously you can see my pores, like, bam. And if you can hear any sounds, I am I hope you aren't picking up the TV in the other room, but, oh, I should probably go turn that down. Now for my lasting finish primer. This stuff is amazing because this stuff is amazing because it actually has glycerin in it which helps make, well, helps things stick to your face. So, if your primer doesn't have glycerin in it, it's not going to help make your makeup last. It might help it go on smoother or whatever, but it will not make it last longer. Are we even in focus? I don't even know. Now for foundations, I'm going to be using my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation in Y205 and my L'Oreal True Match Lumi foundation in N12. I'm going to be mixing those on the back of my hand. By the way, it is snowing outside currently despite the fact that the groundhog said that winter was over. But, you know, ish happens, I guess. I mean, the weatherman said it was supposed to rain the next two days, and uh, it snowed yesterday. It snowed the night before yesterday, and now it's snowing again. So, the weatherman lied, like bold face lied. So I'm not too impressed about that. I'm so ready for spring. And yes, I am doing one half of my face first. So have you guys seen the new Jurassic World movie? I uh, just watched it last night. Weirdly enough, my husband doesn't like the Jurassic movies. I don't understand it. He's a man that's like, goes against all laws of nature right there. But. I watched it last night and oh my god, I was blown away. It was amazing. I loved it. And can I just say the man that plays the uh, the guy that's like close to the raptors, ooh, he makes my heart beat. And I'm not 100% sure, but I'm, I think the guy that plays the uh, that Asian lab technician dude, I'm pretty sure he was in the original one. In in the original lab. Uh, I think he was the guy in the first movie that said that uh, the animals couldn't breed because they were all female. So, pretty sure it's the same guy. I, I don't actually know. I have to look that up. But Actually, I'm going to do that as soon as I'm done with my foundation. I'm going to go look that shit up. Cause I got to know if he is or is not. And I will let you guys know. I swear, mixing those two foundations is just like the perfect shade for me. I love it. By the way, do you guys like my coffee mug? It's so cute, right? It's got um my coworker's dog all over it because she passed away and I was really close to the dog. Like, I'm not kidding when I say I brought half a peanut butter sandwich every day to work, just to feed it to her. <laughs> so, 
Chris Pratt, he's a hottie. And yes, the guy that plays the Asian lab technician dude was in the original movie. Damn, I'm smart. I think it's interesting. He's the only original character they brought back though. Like, that's just weird. Why him? I don't get it. Not gonna lie, I was kind of hoping they'd bring back the, uh, what do you call him? The, um, what is he? The archaeologist, archaeologist <laughs> from the first movie. I don't remember the guy that plays him. I don't remember his name, but he was also in the third one when they ended up going to the sister island to, uh, have a tour with a couple. But in reality, it was they were looking for their son. So for concealer today, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Master Conceal in Fair. I also think it's interesting that um, this movie actually took place on the exact same island that the first movie took place on, and the kids actually found the original building that was pretty freaking cool. Why do I keep looking at my viewfinder when I have a mirror in front of me? I don't know. But yeah, it's pretty much like the Asian guy just never left the island. <laughs> if you think about it. But seriously, that dinosaur that they made in that movie? Oh my god. Who's? Oh. Like the second they asked what that dinosaur was made with, I knew. I instantly knew, like, do that thing part right there. Like, the second I saw its hands, I knew. Like, you never forget a raptor claw. You see a raptor claw, you are scarred for life, and you know what they look like. Like, they made this big deal about raptors in the first movie. Like, you, you won't piss off a raptor. You don't do it. I like how I'm just going on and on about dinosaurs while putting on my makeup. I like dinosaurs, okay? I'm a big Jurassic fan. And I actually, when I was little, like really little, like elementary school little, I actually wrote a report all about the Brachiosaurus. It was three pages long. I was in like fourth grade, third grade. And can we just say that was like my best report ever? And I'm going to set my concealer using my Ofra Banana Powder and an e.l.f. blush brush. I'm not gonna lie, it's really pretty outside right now even though it's snowing. I mean, snow is really pretty in general. Like, we actually haven't gotten that much snow this year, which is insane because, hello, I live in Vermont. We're kind of known for our snow. Like, we've got like 10,000 ski resorts. It's ridiculous. I feel like I powder my eye. All right, I'm gonna go off camera and do my brows using my Bodyography Brow Powder and Brush. And I'll be right back. And I'm just gonna lay those flat with my Chella Brow Defining Gel. And today I actually used a lighter color on my eyebrows. So I actually used the lightest shade in my Brow Powder Trio. Usually I use the second, like the middle shade, but that is because this one's actually broken. I dropped it on a cement floor one day. I wasn't too impressed with myself. Okay, for eye primer, I'm gonna be using my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, which I desperately need to get a new one of, because I'm like, it's like, got like nothing left in it. Okay, so I'm basically trying to recreate the look that I did yesterday, which was very natural and kind of everyday-ish. And I only used the Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette to do this. So I'm going to first start with a Morphe M518 and we're gonna go into the shade Mousse. And that's just gonna go into our crease. But yeah, no, I actually had a conversation with my husband last night about, like, the Jurassic series because he's only seen two of them. Um, 
he saw the first one and the third one. He's never seen the second one, which I thought was a little, well, odd, but yeah, I mean, he's a guy. He's supposed to like those movies, you know, like he, he's so picky about his movies. I don't understand. Like the franchise is so big. Everybody loves those movies. I actually told a funny story the last time I tried to film this, but first we're going to move on to our next shadow. I'm going to take a, hmm, I think this is pronounced Borghese. Do not, if, if it's not, I'm sure it's not, but okay, yeah. It's a smudge brush, kind of, but we're going to take Puddin and yeah, right in the other corner. But no, when I, okay, when I first saw the Jurassic Park movie, the first one, I was really little, like it came out in 93, so I was, I was five <laughs> when it came out. Um, I'm gonna assume I was six when it actually came out on VHS, which my mother did rent it from Blockbuster, if you know who, what Blockbuster is. And you're from a decent generation. If not, then you're probably really young. And she rented it from Blockbuster and she sat me and my sisters down and we watched it. And okay, I'm gonna go really weird for a second. We had a bathroom that had a weird layout in it. Like if you walked into the bathroom, the shower was right here. Like it was a tub shower and then behind that was the toilet and then across from that was the sink. And for some reason my mother always had the shower curtain closed. I don't know why. And I'm gonna use a Royal and Langnickel BX80 brush and I'm gonna go into coconut cream. And it's gonna be a brow highlight. Um, but yeah, my mother always had the shower curtain closed. So, mind you, I was a very skittish child anyway, to begin with. I was afraid of pretty much everything. And I'm gonna use a brush by the same company, except this is a BX95. And I'm going to take mousse and run that under my lash line. But I was pretty much afraid of everything. For some reason my video stopped, but I was pretty much afraid of everything. So after my mother had me watch Jurassic Park, I, for the longest time, thought there was a raptor hiding behind my shower curtain. I would always like dash past the shower to go to the bathroom after I saw that movie because I always thought that there was a raptor behind the curtain waiting to jump on me. Now I'm gonna take a Morphe M515 and we're gonna go into licorice. And that's going on my lower lashes, on my lashes. But yeah, after seeing the first movie, I knew raptors, you don't fuck with them. They're very smart creatures, smarter than most humans. Just saying. And then, that whole thinking there was a raptor behind the shower curtain thing led to another incident. My mother had me watch an alien movie. I, to this day, don't know what the name of the movie is. It had a bunch of little green aliens. And honestly, the only scene I can re legitimately remember is there was this blonde woman and a chihuahua and they switched their heads. So the lady's head was on the chihuahua's body and the chihuahua's head was on the lady's body. So if you know what movie I'm talking about, please let me know because I don't remember what it's called. But for the longest time after seeing that one, I thought there was a little green Martian in my shower and I would dash past the curtain because I was afraid a little green Martian was going to switch my head with my dog because I had a chihuahua. Don't get me wrong, I loved those movies that my mother had me watch, but what was she thinking? Okay, so the last time I tried to film this, I used the, or I tried to use the Maybelline, the Falsies Push-Up Drama Mascara. This is shit, don't buy it. The wand is nothing like the one on the box, and it is a clumpy mess. It just, it, mm, don't waste your money. 
just don't. Instead, spend your money on something that actually works, i.e. the Maybelline The Colossal Volume Express Mascara. This stuff is amazing. I love it. I don't even care that this stuff smells like paint, like... Mmm. It doesn't even smell like good paint. It smells like paint gone bad. Like, if you know what that smells like. I absolutely love this stuff because it doesn't clump. It's amazing. I don't know if it's the brush or what, but it doesn't clump. I have a black spot on my cheek. Why? Yes, I'm very silent when I do my mascara. But that's because I'm not very good at doing my mascara. Like, holy lashes. Oh my god. That is insane. This is insane. This is insanity in a little tube. Colossal insanity. I pray to God we are in focus. I'm gonna get real mad. Now I'm gonna contour using my Sephora Colorful Powder in Los Cabos and my Sigma F40. Not bad, very, very light and subtle, I like it. And I am like going hard into this powder. Not bad, I like it a lot. Next up for bronzer, I'm going to be using the bronzer that came in the Urban Decay Naked Flushed Palette and my Motives brush because it's life. If I just shook you guys, I'm sorry. I bronze kind of hard. For blush, I'm going to be using my Studio Makeup Blush in Wildflower and my It Cosmetics powder brush. And a little bit goes a long way. For highlight, I probably should have did this first, but I'm gonna be using my ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in Stole the Show, cause it does indeed steal the show. And I got this in my Winter Beauty Con box. Tap that on. Oh, it is phenomenal. Oh my god, can you? Like, if you've seen the movie Cars and you know the character Lightning McQueen, ka-chow. Like, he does that. Like, he's got that highlight on for you. Like, oh my god. On the nose a little. I said a little, not a lot. Dang. Cute this bow. Mm. Yes. Yes. And now for our lips, I'm going to be using a NYX combo using their lip liner in Vanilla Sky and their matte, soft matte lip cream in London. off using my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, which I need to buy more of very soon. But I Whew, that feels good. But that completes today's look. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Please try this look on yourselves. It's very natural, very simple, very everyday. I like it. I hope that you guys will like it on yourselves. Why am I clapping? It's very loud. I don't know. But please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Maybe leave a comment down below on what you thought. If you have any suggestions for future looks, please leave those down in the comments as well. Or you can Instagram me. I'm on there constantly. Yeah, constantly. There's a link to that in the description as well. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later.
Bye.